hope they're excited. You guys excited? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're excited. And uh, did you have a, a couple of changes in the um, in the program? Uh, the part of uh, the student number eight, uh, Kaylin Davis, couldn't be here tonight, so Kat Orbis will be doing uh, the part in her place. And then uh, student number ten, Eric, could not be here as well, so Michaela Hahn will be doing his part. So um, give them a big round of applause, and we'll get started. It's full of ups and downs. It's also very unpredictable. But each one of us sees it from our own unique point of view. The point of view we have to come from how we think about things. And the way we think about things comes from our own experiences. Things we see, read, watch, or hear can have an impact on our thoughts. But did you know that things can only impact our thoughts if we let them? <coughs> That's right. We are in control of our own thoughts. No one can think our thoughts for us. We get to choose our thoughts. Our but thoughts give us power. But since they are only thoughts, we can change them anytime we want to. When we are little children, we learn how to think about ourselves. And what we think about ourselves affects what we think about other stuff, too. 
People who are unhappy with themselves might be mean or grumpy to others. They might complain a lot. They might have become bullied. But people who like themselves see things in a friendlier way. They are more likely to be kind and generous. They are more likely to be kind. They are more likely to be happy. Everyone should like who they are. that some people see the glass half empty and, some, and others see it half full. People who see it half full are generally more positive people. Positive people are much more likely to be happy. How do you become a positive person? Well, as we said, the first step is to like yourself because if you like yourself, you're coming from a good place and that matters a lot. Another thing you can do is slow down and consider what thoughts and words you are choosing. For example, if you think today will be a terrible day, it probably will be. On the other hand, if you think today will be a great day, it probably will be. <laughs> For as the old saying goes, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Remember, thoughts don't control us, we control them, so ask yourself, are my thoughts making me happy? Do I like being angry? Do I like having fear? Do I like whining and complaining about everything? <laughs> Do I like thinking bad things so much? Of course not! So let's get rid of these thoughts. They're only thoughts. We don't have to think them if we don't want to. We have the power. Let's use it to change those thoughts. Let's use it to improve our lives. 
Let's lose the negative stuff and focus on the positive. Let's put positive thinking habits into place and practice them every day. The more we do, the more positive we will be. And the more positive we are, the happier we will be. After all, who wouldn't rather be happy?